This movie will introduce viewers to GIS. This video will cover the definition of GIS, the origin of GIS style analysis, and some of the common file formats of GIS data. What is GIS? The 21st century has brought with it many exciting technologies. The advent of the computer has allowed us to connect with people around the world and has allowed many industries to create new technologies to improve their efficiencies. The geography world had its own response to the digital age, geographic information systems, also known as GIS. GIS is the use of technology to collect, manage, analyze, and display data. Unlike other data management platforms, GIS technology allows for spatial components of the data, like their locations or extents, to be a component of the analysis. According to Esri, one of the major GIS software companies, GIS systems have five major components. People, aka GIS experts, the data they are working with, their methods of analysis, the hardware or physical devices they are using, and finally the softwares or computer programs used for analysis. Put these five together and you have the working components of a complete GIS system. GIS platforms are incredibly useful because they allow the user to overlay multiple layers of data and understand both how the layers relate to each other and how each of them exists in space to get a fuller picture of phenomena in the real world. What is the origin of GIS style analysis? GIS analysis is mainly known for the inclusion of multiple data layers and the inclusion of spatial characteristics in data analysis. Though GIS style processing is much more popular now since we have a variety of powerful softwares to help us do it, the use of the multi-layer spatial analysis approach was being employed long before the computer was invented. The first use of GIS style thinking is credited to a 19th century physician named John Snow, who used mapping and spatial analysis to halt the spread of cholera during an outbreak in London. He mapped the residences of all the victims of that particular outbreak and found that all the victims were clustered around a shared well that happened to contain the contaminated water. His brilliant use of spatial analysis was able to stop the spread of the disease and is a great example of how GIS technology and analyses methods can be used to solve problems in the real world. What kind of data can I expect to see? GIS platforms can analyze both spatial and non-spatial data. GIS platforms have the ability to analyze many types of data that come in a variety of file formats. Before diving into the world of GIS, it is important to understand the two major types of spatial data file formats you will see so that you understand the kind of data you'll be working with. These two forms are vector and raster. Vector data comes in a layer that is made up of specific discontinuous shapes. They can either be points, lines, or polygons. Each individual shape represents a unique piece of data. Vector data is generally used to represent phenomena that doesn't continue across the entire space. Point data is often used to represent cities, line data is often used to represent roads, and polygons are often used to represent swaths of different land cover types. The second data type, raster, is a continuous layer made up of pixels, where every pixel has a value. JPEG is a common example of a raster data set, something you've probably worked with when dealing with photographs on a computer. The pixels that make up the image can come in various sizes. The smaller the pixel, the higher the level of detail, or resolution, the image will have. Raster data sets are useful when continuous data needs to be represented, like when one is working with altitude or climatic data. Before you pick your file format, it is important to understand how you need the data to be used and visualized. You should pick the data format accordingly. In conclusion, GIS is the use of technology to manage data. It combines multiple data layers and spatial information to enhance analysis. Though today GIS technology is largely computer-based, the style of technology predates computers. GIS platforms allow for the use of many different file formats. And finally, there are two main types of spatial data that you will encounter. Raster layers, which are made up of pixels, and vector layers, which are made up of separate shapes. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video.